Welcome back, Tactus here with another episode of the Final Fantasy XII Randomizer. We stand before the entrance of the Great Lushu Mines and are about to set off in our quest to rescue Pinello into the trouble that Van has got her into. Being mistaken for a companion of Althea, the uh, actual bounty hunters have decided that Pinello is worthy of stealing as a hostage. And they left a message to Balthea to uh, come to the depths of the Lushu mine and otherwise the girl probably snuffs it. So we shall be heading through the Lushu mines to uh, retrieve her. Alright, so I'm just going to switch up Fran is a gambit so that she's only stealing from enemies that have a maximum HP. That way she's not like doing absolutely nothing. And she will target multiples. Okay, so we've got a Vega, that's a gun that could be half decent. Guns unfortunately tend to have uh, pretty bad, well, they have low stats because they're armor piercing, but late game things tend to be, ooh, she saw haste, that's a bit better. Things tend to be uh, resistant to armor, so armor piercing doesn't do terribly much. We've got Skelly, who drops a mobilize. Oh, my diamond helmet, nice. So yes, we shall be proceeding through here. Hopefully the skeletons drop a bit more variety than just uh, immobilize because otherwise um, I know there's areas that you can farm skeletons and just immobilize is not worth any bill. Alright, the target on that a roger, which we already had, so the other bats dropped a rogers. Which is not super duper useful. Yeah. The Vegas are better. Dragon Mail was nicer though. That could be useful. Might be earth resistant. Maybe. <laughs> we shall see. Oh, reverse and disable. Awesome. I kind of wish I had that uh, gambit for this bonus for. Uh, aug augment, that's the word. Augment for. Uh, moving safely past traps right about now. So the common trap in this area is clearly the stasis trap, which is reverse and disable. Reverse is fine. And Altea, that's uh, another uh, gun. It's just disable is going to last a while. Well, that's already worn off. Okay, that didn't last too long. No Nidhogg here to surprise us. That mark should be available after this section of story is done, actually. Because so I'm pretty sure you can't access it before uh, the story. Okay, we've got Siphon off these, and wow. This is clearly where all the guns are stashed. That's another type of gun. Sirius, Altair, and Vega, all named after stars. All the guns in this game are named after different stars. I wonder if there will be any other guns that we can grab. Okay, you didn't do too much in the way of damage. And everyone's just gaining their MP back, which is good. So, Barsh is staying out of the party for just a little bit, just until uh, we gain a bit more um, levels on the other guys. Because I'm more likely to have to switch people around. Uh, from this point onwards, people should not be really removed due to story reasons. So I don't have to worry about that. So this area, if you walk onto the central span, yeah. there's... Ooh, a pulse wave, that's not good. Um, a bunch of these guys spawn. Yeah. Elemental gun, I do not want to see that. Lightning fangs, I'll take those. Uh, a bunch of gill, whatever. Okay, this person's just going to attack. There is a limit to how many of these pests will um, spawn, thankfully. And we don't want too, too many because at the moment our healing is Cura, which is a little bit costly on the MP. 
I don't have uh, many or any MP reduction uh, gambits yet. So, in spite of rage, that could have been ouchie. Ooh, these guys dropped pretty good LP, I noticed. 4 LP, nice. Okay, we have arrow now and an ice shield. Nice, nice. What do we got? Some more gill? I'll take gill. At the moment, the prices of things seem to be like randomized within a range. I haven't seen anything super, super. <laughs> Two shields off that guy. Super expensive yet. I think 13,000 was the most. So. That's, um, that should be good. Alright, what do we got? Dark matter! Mmm. Not as good as dark energy, but still. And sleep, whatever. Dark matter is worth it. That's another item that I can yoink at the, the enemies and deal a good chunk of damage if ever the need arises. And we do not need the cutscene, and now we leg hey, it. wait up! We'll not be able to take them all. Fight who we must, leave the rest. This little cutscene is unskippable. Okay, Gidjup goes for Cura, that's a-okay. So we don't care about these dudes, we're just going to leg it. They... So you can beat them in normal play. You're just not intended to beat them. They are, what's like, level 16 or so. And I would be bang on about what the levels I should be, or what the game expects me to be for this point in the game. I do have better equipment, of course, but... These guys might have way better weapon, oh, way better abilities than they should. If they're all packing shining rays, which the humanoid enemies seem to love in this randomization, uh, that's not going to be fun. Barn is uh, very squishy and also attacking everything in sight, apparently. What did he attack? Oh, he probably got close enough to the bosses and got to attacking those. Okay, please kill him. Okay, now to run. Shades of black. Oh, wow. That, yep, that could be very painful if it rolls something like Scourge. Or Flare. Or Bat Wings in the back there. So we just, uh, I think we must have run out of uh, range for him to be able to do that attack. Hopefully. But yep, we just keep, keep running. Plus, it's just so far ahead of his. He's no longer going to our party. Yep, and see all those lovely red dots at the bottom of the minimap there that it spawned? So even though we are nicely far ahead, they will catch up. But we're almost out of here. Varn's probably going to die, and there he is dead. Hey, it's okay. We've got Barsh in the back. Just in case we are Do we not seem they follow? We've lost them. Much more running about with Bunga at my heels, and I'm apt to give up sky pirating altogether. Alright, well, Van's dead, so bring in Bash. Oh, hey, right, so I, I set Bash up to be a stealer as well. He does also happen to uh, have the augment for better stealing. And he should also be set up for, uh, he should be set up for, uh, what's it, stealing with only on full HP. So he will eventually attack things. It's just a bit awkward when I have two people and I'm too lazy to, uh, stole an Akana, okay. And I have more healing options. So we're just taking this round route to see what these guys have for stealings, which is apparently just Arcana. Which is not, um, su Oh, they don't give any LP. They suck. Good thing everyone has double LP. Nice level up, but they do have a good amount of XP. Oh, hello, you did not spawn last time. What have you got for steals? Telekinesis. Okay, you have a gambit. Nice. And uh, that's fine, you're dead. Oh, more things, steal from the stealing. More rogers, more gambits. Okay, that must be its rare drop. Unless it's an, it's an arcana drop. 
Sorry, because I do have the uh, thing that allows things to drop pebbles, which can be randomised into anything else. Dragon mail. I'm going to have plenty of dragon mail. Oh, Bash is on 1 HP. Lovely. Something cast sap. That must have been one of the skeletons, I believe. And now we're on to Brugereba. Oh no, I just remembered. We have to do the I'm Bash von Fronsenberg side quest. The one thing I'm so glad is removed from the randomizer. Uh, you are not the item shop. Oh, no. Okay, can I buy some, uh, sell some items off first? Uh, okay, I can't I. Off you go. One gill for a dewdrop preble. You're not supposed to have those outside of Eric Village. Nothing new. What do I have nine? I have nine scorpion tails. Hmm, I think I can sell a few of those. What else do I have a lot of? Uh, a bunch of Vegas. They sell for half decent. And I'm never going to use them, so I can sell a few of those. Okay, so I got ice shield and the leather shield. Half damage from holy, okay. Uh, that's pretty good defense, actually. No other things on that. It's fine. I can get rid of a couple of red caps. I did not realize I had so many. Um, alright. I need to actually revive Vaughn. Get him back into the party. Alright, so I need to testify. Who do I need to testify again? Nope. I'm the Bosch von Ronsenberg. Two Bajerans heed your words. So the best ones to So any only people who have a little bump that you can speak to that the speech bubble above their head are worth Bosch it, but lives. these guys are the best ones to yell at. So they're the uh, information dudes. Uh, Miner's Ender, Ushu Miner. Not really much point over here. Oh, we've got three over here. I'm Captain Bosch von Ronsenberg. As long as you don't Alaska. yell at the guards, you're probably going to be good. But yes, obviously certain people are better, and don't bother yelling at the same person multiple times. I'm the Bosch von Ronsenberg. Only one. The guy didn't hear me. All right, so we got the guide. Uh, I don't want to yell at the other dude. Don't listen to Ondor's lies. The one in armor there. All right, only one, but it's one that gives us a lot of points. So onwards. Yeah, I think as a kid when I was doing this, I had Don't no idea who to yell at, and that's just like so frustrating. Oops, so there you go, those guys give you a lot, and I think I was just yelling at everyone. Uh, I don't want to yell at you. Oh, I do want to yell at you, though. Should be far enough. Are you wandering off? Yes, you're wandering off. Cool. I went accidentally yell at the wrong one. Don't listen to Ondor's lies. And then, yeah, unfortunately, your notoriety does drop if you uh, don't pester the locals uh, after a given time. Oh, I can talk to him. All right, well, I do want to go shopping here. Here. Uh, you've got open pole hats. All right, well, you do not actually have anything I want. Except the picture people in the way. And you Don't shoot listen to me. Ondor's lies. Oh, I think I'm gonna need one more to get to hundred. Oh, I got it. Yes, excellent. And then the city watch come and attempt to arrest you because you've been causing trouble, stirring up the population. <sighs> 
and we do not need to hear that long-winded political cutscene. Times several. The plot of this game actually isn't that bad. Like, I know a lot of people like rat on and like say it's not that good, but this game does have good cutscenes. The our uh, voice acting is really good. Okay, so there's a sport. Yeah, the Mihawk is available. Well, I'll accept it. So far, um, none of the yeah, none of the hunt rewards have really been worth it. So, probably not uh, gonna bother with it. Alright, so we are in the tavern. This is not. What is that? Oh, excellent. I was like, oh, is there a secret passage? No, it's the regular passage out there, out the door. Okay. So, we've said hello to all the shops in this map. And uh, I will make a hard save before I progress with the plot, just in case, um, because there's an awful lot of humanoid enemies and the Imperials might like to spam Shining Laser and cause a quick death if I am not careful. So a hard save would be smart. I don't want to have to escape from the Bungar again. So we'll just save here. I can't teleport. I don't have any teleport crystals, so that's going to be fun potentially. At least if you are playing through the plot, uh, the game doesn't expect you to teleport. Will you have to use the teleport crystals at any point? And yeah. I'm just thinking maybe between just trying to think if uh, maybe t between um, Mount Boronsis and getting back to Rabanasta. Alright, let's go take to the Seneca. Go, no, take to the Marquis. Alright. That cutscene had a very long intro. Nope. Still not loaded. Okay, saving now. Waiting. Waiting. So we're tricking the Imperials to take us in by being in false chains whilst secretly working with the resistance. It gets us on the ship. Which gets us, and we get another guest, Vosla, on the map of the Leviathan. Alright, Vosla, what have you got to offer us? Telekinesis, Soul Eater. No. Yes. Oh, you have access to quite a few. Um. Huh. Okay, you've got uh, access to a few items, but uh, your gambits will do fine as they are. Okay, can I not? Oh, right. The... I was trying to get you out of the party, but no. Okay, that's um, good. Right, well, I would say that we can progress to attempting to rescue the princess now. Panalo's off somewhere else, um, and now we're rescuing the other female character aside from Fran. So, two out of the three female characters need rescuing at some point. But Fran's a badass, she does not need rescuing. So I'm gonna have the minimap overlay in this up in this area. Hey, there are treasure chests that can spawn in this area. Rightio! I did not think they could spawn. And there we go, we took the alarm. Okay, you disabled, that's bad. Gravity is okay, that can't kill us. You guys are gonna kill everything. Oh, that is bad. That is very bad. Oh, then they killed her. Okay. Okay, crushing fangs is bad. Time to leg it. 
Okay, run away. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, ooh, I just have to... Can we use the shortcut that, uh... We normally... Oh, crikey. Alright. I'm just, I'm disabled. Lovely. Mm-hmm. I may need to do a smidge of leveling. To be able to safely get through here. Oh dear. Alright, let's see, um... Bash von Ronsenberg. How you do. Can I, can I get through this route? Ooh, treasure. Nope. Nope, 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 I want that. Okay, that's off. No, I cannot get through here. I should not have gone for those treasures. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Well, I will... I will load the autosave and make another attempt. So what is also bad is that Cura is not AoE. It is only single target, which is not great. Also flipping bloody disable. No, not fun. Okay, you're going to die. You are going to run and ignore the treasures. They are bait. Okay, cool. I can get through this door. I was really worried that I would be locked there. Okay, so I need to go to the top of this area. You can't get through here without... Oh, please don't crushing fangs me. Please do not. Please do not, please do not. Smite of Rage is also bad. Gravity is fine. Yeah, you can't avoid not uh, triggering these. Okay. Almost there, almost there. What is also bad is that I am going to be dumped into a boss fight immediately upon entering this room. So I have to be very quick on the revive. And I'll revive uh, Balth Balthia. Yes, Balthia. Okay, cool. Ooh, horology, that could also be super bad. Ooh, bay. Okay, let's see. I know this is also a really bad idea. Fear not their numbers. Take down the leaders and the others will follow. Yeah, no, fear, fear, fear. Alright, Phoenix down. On to Balthier, because Balthier has augments that allow for... Okay, Drudge... Him. Phoenix down. Vaughn. Go sick him. Okay, now it's not good. Redemption. Okay. That ain't good. Yeah. 400 damage. I do not currently have the HP to withstand that. And that's on Balthea who has the Gambit for uh, damage reduction. So, I think that I might be doing the Nidhogg quest and the uh, Tortoise Elite Mark Hunt quest next time and not going on to the airship. So, until next time, this is Type This Out. Have a good day, guys, and bye.